so it's written and directed by Alan Ball, who won the Oscar for writing uh, American Beauty. Paul Bettany is the titular Uncle Frank, who is um, an academic living in New York. Uh, this is the early 1970s. He is the favorite uncle to Betty, who's played by Sophie Lillis. She lives in the rural South with a family in which you know children are shouted down at every opportunity and women marry young because they're you know because they're pregnant she loves her uncle frank because he is worldly and he suggests to her a better future here's a clip you're gonna be the person you decide to be or you're gonna be the person everyone else tells you are because you get to choose you do I wish I wasn't named Betty. It's a lady name, and I'm only 14. So change it. <laughs> Can't just change my name. You do anything you want. What about Liz? Ugh. No. Liza. Betsy. <laughs> uh, maybe Beth? Yeah, I like Beth. And there are so many things Beth can accomplish besides being a majorette. And so what happens is he says to her, look, you've got to you know, reach for your dreams. And she does. And she he encourages her to, to, uh, to apply for NYU and she gets in. And that's where he teaches. And when she gets there, she discovers that one of the reasons that Frank has been kind of estranged from the family for such a long time is that he's gay. For a long time, he's been with uh, his partner, uh, Walid. Uh, Wally, he's called, um, uh, played by Peter McDesey. And then what happens is that Frank's father dies. And so he realizes he has to go back for the funeral. They will both have to go, but her mother says you can't fly. So they'll have to take a road trip. So they will take a road trip to go back for this funeral. And of course, as in the nature of movies during the, the road trip, they will discover much uh, about each other. So it's a formulaic idea, but I really liked it. And th the reason I liked it is this, firstly, you know where it's going from the beginning. I mean, you know, there's you really have to be asleep at the wheel not to be able to kind of map out the roadmap of the story. On a performance level, however, it's great. I thought Bettany, I thought this is the best uh, performance of Bettany's given since Gangster Number One, and I'm a big fan of Paul Bettany's acting. I think he's, you know, he's a very, he's very fine presence on screen. Bettany, Lillis, and Magdicia are all completely believable. Secondly, it's really funny. I mean, I laugh so much more than I expected to. There's lots of laugh out loud moments. And thirdly, despite the kind of the, the, the cliche of the narrative arc, it gets lots of details right. I mean, yes, there is a melodrama to the way in which it moves into the third act, which, you know, obviously kind of falls over into hyperbole. But you really do get the sense that Frank and Wally have been together for years. They've been through their struggles. They've, they've got these little things about their relationships, the way in which they niggle each other, the way in which they love and support each other that are really beautifully done. And the film very neatly counterpoints their relationships with their respective families because Wally comes from a place where, as he says early on, he could be executed for being gay, but he calls his mum and there are these lovely phone calls to his mother in which you just see hear his side of the of the conversation. And this is all counterpointed with um with Frank's relationship with his own family, who he's convinced, you know, would not accept him. There is also a scene when they first arrive near his home, you know, in which he says, Look, you have to come into this motel half an hour after me because this is the, you know, things are different here. And you do get a sense of the threat that's uh, around the story. I mean, I, I really expected it to be something much less than it was. I, I enjoyed it very much. I, I loved the performances and I laughed a lot. And I thought it was touching and funny and actually really, you saw it, Simon. So did you like it? Yes, I, no, I, I did. I mean, I do think he was great in Master and Commander and I do think yes. he was, and obviously Wimbledon was He's our, great. He's great in favorite. most things. Yes. Um, but I thought, no, I did think it had that, and I'm using this as a compliment because I know it's controversial, yeah. but in the in the same way that Green Book was an interesting story to tell, they take this road trip through, uh, you know, period America. And and I thought it was I thought it was nicely done. And I, he is intensely watchable. And I was I was fearful at times and I was excited yeah. at times and I and I laughed and he is. He's in, I mean, considering he's getting on a bit, you know, as indeed we all are, he looks amazing. Yeah, he does. He looks fantastic. And I just, I just love that. 
I love the I love the arc of the film, you know, going to sort of rural South Carolina from New York and as they drive they discover stuff about each other. And I also think the character of Wally was really beautifully beautifully drawn. I mean, you know, as I said, you could tell I believed in their relationship. I absolutely believed in their relationship. Yes, I would not have called the movie Uncle Frank. I don't think that's a helpful <laughs> title in any way. It, I would have put that last in a list of a hundred uh, titles, <laughs> prospective titles. I think it's a catastrophic title for uh, for it. But anyway, um, it's it's well worth hunting out. 